Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika E and today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I'm going to be showing you some things that I got from various thrift stores, an antique store, and also two home goods finds. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep on watching. Also, if you have not already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It would really help me out. And without further ado, let's get into these finds. The first thing that I got, or pair of things that I got from Facebook Marketplace are these two vases, vessels, vases, whatever you wanna call them, okay? They go by many names, but they are so cute. I got both of these for $18, $17 or $18, but somewhere in there. And I thought they were so cute. So let's talk about them individually. This first one, I love it because it's kind of, first off, this is solid wood. And it is kind of like an irregular shape. It kind of um, bows a little bit to the left here, and then it kind of dents in here. There's so many different um, blemishes and things within this particular vase. I absolutely love it. These are originally from West Elm and I just could not understand why the seller was selling these but I was so glad that they were. All right, this is the second one. It's a little bit smaller. Same thing, raw wood. You can see all of the different imperfections in this piece, which once again is why I love them so much. This one was originally $19 and this one was originally $29, okay? Once again, both pieces were originally from West Elm. I picked them up for Facebook Marketplace for only $17, okay? All right, the next thing that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace is this boss base vessel here. I absolutely love this vessel because it is coming up a little bit more um, like an oatmeal color on camera, but it is actually a very light gray color. And then the spout up here is like an off-white color. Once again, love the regular shape of this. Um, I probably am going to end up putting this on my um, TV stands or probably am styling my shelves in the bedroom, but um, I'm not sure where this one originally is from, but once again, Facebook Marketplace, $5. Okay, the next thing that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace is this cute little olive tree. Now, um, the base of this olive tree did not come this way. I did spray paint it with a Rust-Oleum stone textured spray paint. I'll put it down in the description box below. It was a very messy product. I actually don't really recommend it, but to each his own. It does give a little bit of texture. I might have to go in with a second coat, but I thought this little tree was absolutely gorgeous. I am loving olive trees at olive trees, olive branches at the moment. So this, I was very excited to find and it was only $5. I plan to style this in my kitchen beside um, some cookbooks and a little stand. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So cute, once again, $5 Facebook Marketplace. Okay, I think that's all that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. Now I'm going to get into some of the items that I picked up um, thrifting at random thrift stores. All right, the next thing I wanna show you guys that I picked up from the thrift store are these coasters. Now this whole set of coasters I got for $1.99. I love this gold kind of um, distressed gold color. And once I take this off, it shows these beautiful six coasters. And 
these are going to be so cute on my coffee table in my living room that's where i plan on styling these and they can kind of travel all around the living space but mostly it's going to be for the living room once again I absolutely love the gold color on these also love that they actually came in the original packing and one dollar and 99 cent from our kids thrift store the next few items that i picked up from the thrift store were actually cookbooks now i've already removed the sleeves from these cookbooks um so when you're in the thrift store and you're looking for nice books it is very important that you kind of peek under the sleeve that the book comes in and see if underneath there the actual hardback goes with some of your designs within your home. And once I did that, I found three really good books. Now these are going to be for decor purposes. However, I do kind of like the content that is within the book. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you. So the first book is this book here. I absolutely love the color of this book. It is such a great neutral. On this side, um, on the camera, it's coming up a little bit more warm tone than it is. It's actually a very nice ivory tone. And then right here on the um, binding, would you call this binding part? I don't know. But anyways, right here is a nice oatmeal-y color. Okay, and it is Wheat Belly. And this book is all about wheat and its misconceptions. I thought this book was so cute beautiful neutral and I love that it is written in a nice silver tone here. The next book that I picked up is this nice flat charcoal color and this one is actually by um, Julia Michaels so I actually will read this book and it is the math um, the master your metabolism cookbook and I really want to kind of get into mastering my metabolism. I am anemic and a lot of times I am extremely drained throughout the day. So this book is going to be extremely helpful for me. And the binding looks like that. I thought this was so cute. Nice gold, it goes with all of my colors, but once again, very neutral, cute binding, had to pick this up. All of the hardback books were $1.99. The last book I got, as you can see, my couch is blue. I have hints of blue in my living room. And I got this beautiful book. Um, it is this pretty, um, on camera it's filming up a little bit more vibrant, but it's also, well, it's actually very muted. So I have this muted blue, and then on the side, there's this beautiful, pure, white binding and this book is called you on a diet um and there is the binding so so cute once again very neutral very cute goes with my color pat color palette the next thing that i got from the thrift store i picked this up from the goodwill is this cutting board i absolutely love this cutting board because of its size it is so substantial like this is the top of my bun all right top of my bun goes all the way down here I love picking up larger pieces the apartment that I moved into has 12 foot ceilings so I am trying to get more substantial pieces so that I can exaggerate the fact that the ceilings are so high so absolutely love this once again i got this from the goodwill for one dollar and 99 cent i plan to style this on my um countertops in the kitchen kind of staggered with the other cutting boards that i got from my previous haul i will link my previous hauls down below so you guys can kind of catch up and see where i am real time all right, another thrift store item I picked up from the Goodwill is this cute little catch-all piece of pottery. I got this for $1.99. I love it because it is actually functional. 
and it has not one blemish on it, but look at the texture that is on this piece. Absolutely love it. Playing on, putting this on the shelf in the bathroom, probably putting some um, cotton rounds in here. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. So cute, so practical. And once again, not a blemish on it. And it's very, very clean. So guys, I'm telling you, please stop into your local thrift stores and just get you a nice little coffee, nice little latte, take your time, make sure you don't have anything else to do for the day and just shop around. I promise you, you'll find some gems. The next piece that I picked up from the thrift store is this canvas here. Now, it did not originally start off this way. I actually DIY this piece. I'll insert a little bit of the footage of me doing this, but I just used a little bit of spackle and some paint to create this piece. I picked up the canvas for $6.99. All right, guys, so here is the original canvas. Comment down below and let me know if you would like to see a full tutorial on how I created these beautiful canvas pieces. I did create two of these, but only put one in my entryway and I plan on putting the other one in my bathroom. So once again, if you would like to see this full video, comment down below and I'll have it ready for you guys next week. I originally was going to post this video first. However, the lighting isn't that good in the video, which is why I decided not to upload it. But if you guys want to see it, just let me know. I had a lot of fun creating this piece. And when I was done, I was completely amazed. I was like, wow, Shanika, you did that. Once again, I got this from the thrift store for $6.99. All right, the next few pieces, oh, hold on. Before I do that, I have one more piece that I picked up from the thrift store, and it is this beautiful glass, I think it's called Decanter. Decanter? I, I don't know, I I'll put it on the screen, but I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. I love the modern shape of it. It's a solid glass, no blemishes on there. One thing that I do not like about this piece is this little sketch imprint on the front. But I figure if I just turn it this way, it would just kind of, you know, be something that your eye just flows over. You know, it's back there, but it's not as noticeable. You're more so noticing just this beautiful shape. It is, once again, a functioning um, little picture. So I plan on setting this um, probably on my entryway table or somewhere close to my entryway table where my diffuser is and I can simply fill this with water and then refill my diffuser as needed. This was $1.91 and I think I picked this up from Value Village. So cute. absolutely love this piece. Now, the next three pieces, I'm looking to see if I have anything else from that place, okay? The next three pieces that I'm going to show you guys are my absolute favorite finds of the week. I have been thrifting these pieces um, and going into the stores, which is the home goods stuff that I'm gonna show you in a second, within the last two weeks. And this spot that I found is absolutely like it was stunning i felt like i hit the jackpot when i found it i'm going to insert some footage of the place i found it on facebook marketplace once again don't sleep on facebook marketplace okay so the ad just said ceramic pots and i have been looking for quality unique aged pots pottery vessels vases for a while now, and I feel like I hit the jackpot with this place. So, the first one that I am going to show you is this pot here. Now, this pot is so heavy. Like, I, it has to be made of some type of stone, 
Um, it's either stone, uh, ceramic, cement, I, honey, I don't know, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I paid $12 for this vase, and it is pretty substantial. As you can see, my head is large. It's larger than my head, and I'm going to give you a close-up of this beauty. All right, look at all of the texture in that. Like, are you guys seeing this? I don't think the camera is really doing this justice. It is so pretty, so heavily textured, and my arms are hurting so much because I'm holding this up for you guys, but this is just a solid, solid piece, and I paid, once again, $12 dollars for it. Uh, the next piece that I got from that same um, Facebook Marketplace seller, once again, I do not know the name of the place because I don't think it has a name. However, I will put the information for this um, ceramic pot location below. So if you're in the area or you're close to the coming to Georgia area, you can go there and find some beautiful finds for your home as well. But um, this is the second pot I fixed, picked up. It's way more lightweight than the previous one. Um, it's still a very substantial piece as far as not size, but a very well-made piece. And it is also extremely textured. So you can see all of that spackling on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, this vase, along with the gray one that I just showed you, is currently sitting on my coffee table, and I absolutely love them. This one was only $4. $4, guys. I fell out. <laughs> like, between these two pieces, I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. This place is amazing. Now, a lot of the things in there were out of my budget, unfortunately, right now. But when I am in the market for some of these larger pots, I am definitely going back. This is gonna be the place for me to get all of my large ceramic pots from. You probably won't catch me anywhere else unless I just cheat and find something else somewhere else that's a little bit cheaper. But for my forever pieces, I'm definitely gonna keep this place in mind. Now, the last thing that I got from there is my absolute favorite find of the week, and it is thrift find of the week. And it is <laughs> this beauty right here. Guys, this Life B gray piece is so heavy. Once again, it's got to be some type of stone. These are actual pots like that have been painted, hand painted. So this has to be some type of stone or I, girl, I really can't tell you. I'm, I'm going to stop trying to guess and just show you how beautiful this piece is. And guys, it is so heavy. <laughs> I'm like burning out trying to hold it up for you can see. But look, it is ribbed in the center. It is black, slightly like speckled with a little bit of white. Once again, on the inside, you can see I've got it stuffed with some bags. Um, but absolutely beautiful piece. This is currently my centerpiece on my island right now with some olive branches coming out. I, y'all. You, I'm going to insert some of the footage of when I, you know, ran into this piece, but I absolutely love it. All right. I think that is all of my thrifted items. And so the last three pieces that I'm going to show you guys today are actually from Home Goods. Now, I have to give... A huge shout out to Arvin. He is one of the people I follow here on YouTube. I found his channel about a month ago and I have been watching it nonstop. Everything that this guy finds, says, it's like spot on. 
with how I feel about design. We have very similar styles. And what he says, I follow. If you're watching, hey Arvin. Anyways, he talked about this pillow and his latest home goods haul. And guys, I had, there's the second one. I had to pick this up, okay? My couch has been bare for about six months now because my style has been changing. I had pillows on there, this couch that I just did not like and I refused to settle. I wanted something that was choppable and something that was large enough that it wouldn't look just like small and um, kind of uh, juvenile a little bit. I wanted something very grown up and this really did that for me. I absolutely love the pattern on here, the texture, it's so cute. The gray is like so warm and inviting, but it's in a nice cool tone as well. And I got this for $34.99. And this is the name or the designer of the pillow. So, so excited to have this. It is, let's see. Okay, so it says all new material consisting of duck feathers. So, once again, not gonna butcher the name of the designer, but this is the pillow filled with duck feathers. Absolutely love it. Once again, thank you. Arvin for suggesting this piece. I went into Home Goods today. It was there. I picked it up. Fits perfect with my living room. That's an ode to you as well. The next thing and the last thing that I have in this haul, I also picked up from Home Goods. I um, recently bought a fiddle fig um, faux plant to put in my home and I needed a nice substantial modern pot for it to go in. Now I mentioned the ceramic place before and I had a few pots picked out there however they were outside of my price range so I went to the outdoor section at Home Goods and I found this beautiful pot and ironically enough it was very inexpensive. It also had um, a few chips on it so I was able to get it discounted and it is oh and it's very heavy oh that's well this is solid ceramic guys and it is this black pot here active pot once again you see that terracotta actual ceramic vase here guys I gotta stop like <laughs> I gotta stop picking up these things to show you guys and just do like a cutaway or something. But anyways, this is it. So substantial, so large. And the only thing that I am not so much a fan of, it is a kind of a glossy black tone. I love the ribbing in it, but I would have liked it to have been a little bit more of a flat or a matte black, but I will take it. All right, it started off as there's a little imperfection on it and it was $29.99 and I got it for $22. Alright guys, that is it. That completes my um, collective haul. So I showed you some of the items I got from Facebook Marketplace. Some of the items I got from the thrift store, which is my pride and joy, I love thrifting, and the last three pieces I picked up from Home Goods. So let me know below which one of these items were your favorite. If you have not already, please subscribe down below. It would really help me out. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like these types of videos and I will continue doing them for you. All right, guys, the next video, I'll be showing you my kitchen tour. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.